going on fellas <clears throat> so I just wanted to go over this part of the video for you so you could kind of get a good idea of what it is that I'm doing here um, basically right now what I'm doing is putting a soft strap around the tire of the vehicle um, usually I try to only use soft straps around the tire um, you definitely don't want to use chains or anything um, abrasive on these vehicles um, this vehicle just came from um, me come auto auction and um, as you can see there, what I'm doing is <clears throat> on the other side of that tire, um, I'm putting the coupler inside the E-Tracks and I'm actually locking it down. It's a pretty tight little area right there, as you can see. Um, I'm, you know, not the skinniest of guys, I guess, but it's, it's a pretty tight area there. So you always want to make sure on the other side <clears throat> that you get that coupler inside the E-Track nice and tight and give it a good yank because sometimes what will happen is you'll start um, cranking on the, the ratchet and then all of a sudden I think I'll pop out BAM and hit the, the side of the vehicle or something and damage it so you definitely definitely man wanna make sure that's tight on there as well um, so now what I'm doing here is um, this right here protects the strap from coming up when you ratchet it and bending the side fenders you wanna try to get that as close as you can to that tire um, the closer the better um, you want to be careful not to get too close. Sometimes what will happen, the vehicle will shift, and it'll be very difficult for you to get that out of there, actually. Um, it's like, a, I call it a pulley, but, um, so now what I'm doing is I'm going to strap it down. So the other side of the tire, it's in the E-Track, and then there it goes right there, as you can see. Um, and basically, I use two hands. You don't want to hurt your shoulders or nothing. And you want to put it as tight as you could get it, basically. You can see that vehicle's coming, um moving towards me um, but yeah and then you want to make sure when you do ratchet it and you're done you want to make sure that it's um, and what I'm doing there is readjusting it and there it goes so it uh, locks in there you want to make sure that it gets locked in there as well and then I just put that around no real reason or anything but you want to make sure that's as tight as like a guitar string as well guys very 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 important there okay now what i'm doing i'm looking underneath the vehicle i like to put a safety strap on um so a lot of times what i'll do is i'll hook onto something underneath the vehicle if i do have something there and, and by the way that's josh that you see <laughs> um josh is part of our training program that i do um, when you come out on the road with me for 21 days and i teach you everything it is that i do on the road man that's a really important thing you know um, you get to learn everything you know also guys if you're watching this <clears throat> I am. I do have um, three spots open for dispatching, so if any carriers out there you need a dispatcher, man, make your life a hell of a lot easier. Um, you know, go ahead and um, 
email me at youtube at southbeachtransport.com or you could just comment on here leave me your information i'll get back to you i have um three media spots that we're going to be filling actually so all right um what you're seeing here this is the bottom of the truck actually and what we're doing is i'm going to find somewhere to hook on now that's a solid piece of steel there that's a frame reinforcement they put on and that goes from one side of the truck to the other side of the truck um, basically when you you wrap onto whatever you do wrap on you want to make sure it's solid and you're not hooking on to any um, arm bars or anything that's very fragile underneath the vehicle you also want to be careful what you hook onto because as it moves it'll cut your strap and it, it'll become loose you know with well, this truck is um, on trucks, I like to get a second strap on it, um, just in case. I, I always try to get a second strap in the back somewhere, other than the tires. Um, I, have, I have had a few situations where the tire straps have come off, and they've actually, you know, come off. The vehicles moved a little. Um, so far, I haven't had any damages or anything like that, but thank God on that factor there. So yeah, now you can see what I'm doing here is I'm wrapping it around and I am going to, <coughs> now if you see on that strap, that's actually sheepskin that goes around the strap and it protects it against any abrasions on the actual steel itself. This is a complete finished vehicle. So you don't want to damage anything. And those are sheepskin, either lamb or sheepskin. I think it's sheepskin. Um, and, um. They're not too expensive, um, but I, I'll leave some links in the description for those, and you could go ahead and pick them up. But those are actually um, sheepskin covers that go around your straps, and you put them on when you're doing certain areas like this here, um, which is very, very useful so you don't damage anything. All right, so uh, there it goes right there. You can see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, strap it down to the actual e-track straight down there i couldn't get on the other side to get that tire um so i improvised here and um let's see all right that strap there has come in handy so many times oh man I've broken them many of the times as well. Let's see. What I have to do is be careful that when I ratchet it down, it doesn't hit that bumper there. Let's see. Here. Yeah, I thought I moved it to the other side. By moving it to the other side, it gave me more room. And it didn't touch the bumper. And I felt more secure with it on that side there. So what I've done is I, I moved it to the other side, and I'm strapping it down. That just gives it another little um, safety precaution there. I don't do it too, too tight on this one, but it's tight enough. Um, well, they go pretty tight, actually, on this one. All right, and you can see there how that strap, when it didn't lock the first time, you want to always make sure it's completely locked like it is right there in that picture. That is very, 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 very important that you have it like that, guys. All right. I just wanted to narrate this for you and go through the strapping of it, actually. Um, hope this is useful for you. And you can see how it looks.